In this video, we are going to see how to create Zoho Bijan customer from Google Sheets. So let's say that you have some data on your Google Sheets and you have the data of your clients. So with this data, you want to create contacts on Zoho Bijan, which is your CRM. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to have some integration between these two applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be Zoho Vision. Now how can you do this yourself and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on sign up button. It will not take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I already have an account here, I'm going to click on sign in. Now it has taken me to the all applications page. Let's click on public connect for access now. And now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a blue tab, create workflow. So let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is that every time there is a new record in Google Sheets, so with that information, a contact should be created in Zoho Begin. So I'm going to name it as Google Sheets Zoho Begin Integration. Let's click on create here. Now we have reached another window which has got two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action is the response of our trigger application. Here my trigger application would be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. This is the event that will make this workflow start. So let's click on this, click on new or updated spreadsheet row. Now here you can see that we have received this webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge between Pabli Connect and Google Sheets. Basically it's going to act as a connector. I'm going to copy this and now there are certain steps that we are supposed to follow. So I'm going to take you to the Google Sheet that I've already created. So this is the Google Sheet. I'm just going to delete this column. Yeah. So this is the Google Sheet. Now I have created the following fields, first name, last name, email address, mobile number, company and description. So we are going to go to extensions now. Then we have to go to add-ons and then get add-ons. Now once we have reached here, we are going to look for a software. The name is Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now in my system, it is already installed. So if you haven't installed it yet, first you are supposed to install it. It will not take more than two minutes. And then once installed, I'm going to close this window. Again, go to extensions and here you can see Pabli Connect webhooks. Then we will go to initial setup. So once we are here, you can see that it has already selected the sheet, sheet one. And now here I'm going to paste the URL that I have received from Pabli Connect, this one. So I'm going to copy this again go to the google sheet and paste it here then we have to enter the trigger column trigger column is the final data column on which we have entered the data which for this particular field or this particular sheet is f so it has already been captured now i am going to click on submit once done let's here you can see that the setup has been configured successfully let's close this and now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and here you can see it is waiting for webhook response. Basically, it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Going back, I'm going to fill in the data. Let's say the first name is test user and the last name here is Pabli. Then the email here is test user at pablitudes.com then we have the mobile number and then we have the name of the company let it be public connect and then the description so let's say it's a new subscriber so once we have entered this information i'm going again going to go to extensions go to public connect webhooks here you can see 
that I have already ticked on sent on event. If you haven't done that, just click on this, it will happen. Now going back to initial setup, here this time we are going to click on send test tab. As we do that and then we submit, we are going to go back to public connect and here you can see that we have received the API response. So this is the first name, last name, then the email address, mobile number, company name, description, split sheet name, sheet name and the trigger column. So we have received all the information. Once we have received this, I wish that with this information, a contact should be created on Zoho Begin. So the action application would be Zoho Begin. Let's click on this. And now the action event here, the action event would be create contact. Let's click on connect. And here again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Zoho Begin account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Zoho Begin. Now here it is asking for the domain. So if I take you to my Zoho account, so this is my Zoho account and here you can see it is Zoho.com. So going back to Public Connect, I'm going to select Zoho.com, copy this and paste it over here. Let's save this. Once we do that, it is asking for the authorization. Let's accept it. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Once done, here the owner of that account has already been captured and now we have to map this information. Mapping basically means that we already have received this information in the previous steps. In this, we are just going to retrieve it. So first name, I'm going to go to first step and this is test user. Then we have the last name, which is Pabli. Then we have the email address. The email address is this. The mobile number here, the mobile number is this. Then again, I'm going to map the same number as phone number, name of the company. So the name of the company is Pabli Connect. Description, so the description is new subscriber. Now here, I haven't added the address details. You can always do that. I'm going to skip this part and click on save and send test request. As soon as you do that, here you can see that the integration is a success. We have received the following information. And now I'm going to take you to my Zoho Begin account. And here let's go to contacts, which is there on the left side bar. Once we are here, here you can see test user Pabli. This particular contact has been created which basically means that this integration is a complete success but we also need to check this for real time so i'm again going to go back to the google sheet and here i'm going to fill in another detail so let's say this time it is dummy one two three and the last name here is connect then the email address is dummy one two three at pabli com. then we have the mobile number company and description these three things remain the same and now as soon as i have done this what should happen this particular subscriber should now be a part of zoho begin going back to zoho begin here i'm going to refresh this page once and here you can see that demi123 connect this particular email address is here and this contact has been created in zoho begin this basically means that this entire process is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect and understand the entire process so here you can see that the trigger application was google sheets and the trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row then we had chosen our action application as Zoho Begin and the action event was create contact. This was an extremely easy two-step integration process. I hope you are through with this. If you have any doubt, do not worry because the same workflow is given in the description box of this video. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other suggestion or advice, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.